Now I'd like to place a rock right here as an accent point. So let's go to the library. Let's go to hardscapes and we need to go down here to rocks. Now I want a rock that's standing up. Now I know there probably isn't one exactly like that in the library, but I'm going to use this rock here because what I want to show you is how you could take a rock that's the wrong shape and then shape that rock. So let's take this rock, put it down here a little big so we'll size it down. Now I want this point pointing up so I need to rotate this rock. So I go up here to the rotate icon and I'll just click and drag my mouse around until I got it rotated the way I want it which is about like that. Now I need to make this rock look like it's sitting in the ground. So I'm going to go to the eraser tool. Let's zoom in and I'm going to cut off the bottom of the rock and I'm going to cut some little jags in here to make it look like the the mulch is going up on the rock. Gives it a little more realism. And I want to cut off this top. And let's zoom back out. It's a little big now so I'll go back in and size it down a bit. But you could see how I've taken a rock that was really laying down and could have worked the way it was but I was able to rotate it, cut it, and manipulate it to get the look that I want. So you're limited by the rocks in the library. And keep in mind, you can always add your own rocks, but you can always change the rocks that are in the library. Keep that in mind. Now I'd like to place an accent tree in here. I decided that I wanted to put in a crepe myrtle. One thing I'd like to point out is that if you look in the libraries, crepe myrtles, which we have quite a few, are under the Southern Library. Now they do grow kind of in the middle, south, a little bit north, but keep that in mind. If you don't find what you're looking for in a Northern Library or a Southern Library, look in the other library. So I want this one here, so I'll double click it to bring it up on the screen. Of course, it's a little big, so we'll size her down. And that's about the size it would be. Now, one thing I wanted to show you with this is how you could place in a shadow of a tree. So if you click on the tree that you want to make a shadow for, and you go up here to the shadow command, watch the tree as I click the shadow command. You'll see it just created this shadow a little faint so I'll bring it over here on the white so you can see it. It created that shadow which is the exact silhouette of that tree. Now if you want to make it a little bit darker all you have to do is right click on the shadow and change the transparency say from 25 to 35. Click OK and you see it got a little bit darker. You can make it even darker than that but I find 35 works fairly good. So now I want to make it look like it's laying down beside the tree. So what you do is you go up here to the warp tool and you click on horizontals so it ties in the handles on the top and simply drag this down and over and you can see how it's taking shape here and it looks like it's laying down on the pavers. So that looks good enough for me so I click OK and then I'll slide it back in to where it belongs like so. Now you notice that the shadows going over the tree, I'm oh sorry, the rock, it may not be uh, doesn't look realistic to me. So I'm going to just select on the rock and bring it to the front so that the shadow is behind it. I'll click on front here and now the shadow is behind the rock. 